What's up, it is? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're playing the new update to Hungry Lamu. That's right, the game got updated, and apparently there's new areas, there's new endings, and this game is so strange, I don't know what to expect. If you haven't seen my first video on this game, I was so surprised. It was It's a weird experience because this game is about an innocent llama that's just eating fruit, but you find out the whole time the fruit is actually people. So yeah, I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited because, you know, it's gonna be a wild experience. And you know me, your boy, Dak Blake, I'm gonna try to break the game and play it in different ways because that's what I do, play it differently. But let's see what we have here today. All right, so the game just loaded up. I don't know if it started like this before. It looks like we're in uh, his cave, which is strange. So the narrator says, hello, Lam. Or actually, you know, it's because it's supposed to be kind of like a play on like a children's game, right? So it's like, hello, Lam. Oh gosh, that sounds so bad. Hello, Lamu. Uh, you had a good nap, didn't you? Oh man. Okay, so I mean, look at that creepy face. That llama, he, he's just... He's just emotionless. So, oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. So, oh man. So there's just piles of fruit in the corner here. And it, you know that that's just a pile of people. Man, this is like one of like the most innovative new horror games. Like it really makes you think because you're playing as the villain. You don't want to do the bad things, but you have to in order to play the game. So let's see, what is all this? Oh. Lamu's favorite book. If only Lamu could still read? Still read? Um, okay. So I'm guessing because Lamu's an actual person, right? Who thinks they're a llama. Um, maybe something happened to them where now they can't read? So I think this part of the gameplay is still the same. So we might skip ahead, but it's like, isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> oh man, but this game, it is just so like, ah, now that I, I know what's happening, it's just, how, like, how do I play this? How do I go through with this? You have to eat the banana, but the banana is a dog. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to do this. Can I just leave here? No, no, I just, come on, let me go, <laughs> No, don't make me do it. Honestly, though, out of all of the villains we have ever seen in a lot of horror games, this probably has to be the worst, but it's disguised behind this, like, innocent-looking character, right? I mean, think of a worst character. This llama eats everything, literally. All right, so I just finished everything. I ate all of the fruits. I feel like a terrible person because I'm playing the villain, but here we go. I think we're switching now to the perspective of the one camper remaining. So he goes, oh, what's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? Jeez, oh man, this, this game is so good. All right, so we just got to here. So everybody's screaming. It says, I told them to not make so much a ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. So, um, I think, oh, whoa, I have like a map now. Whoa, oh wait, so does it show you where you are? Oh, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, but I do see right here, it says I'm in the pee area and there's also just a drawing of poop. So I guess it's the poop area too. It says Leon is hot, uh, ape. Leon is a poo poo head. <laughs> why, <laughs> why is that my humor? <laughs> I always find the most, like, dumb things my humor. <laughs> hey, that's why our inside joke on the channel is milky banana. It literally just means nothing, but I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> so let me read this whole thing because I think it gives us a lot of, like, a backstory, I think. So it says, this Lamu Forest pa or Park Challenge. That's what these campers were doing. So they wanted to bring camping stuff, insect repellent. They met at 12 a.m. They said, do not go beyond here. There's a cursed cave. But obviously we gotta go. <laughs> so it says, keep an eye on Mochi. Oh, that's like the worst part of the game. The fact that like the dog gets attacked. I mean, it's like, I don't know, I feel like it's a weird thing. It's like, attack all the humans, but leave the dog. <laughs> all right, so I made it back to the campsite. We haven't really seen anything too new other than the beginning of the game, but I'm excited to see what that cave is all about. All right, so I just found Mochi. The strange thing about this game is like, the, the actual characters that have been eaten, it's so graphic. I think YouTube even takes it down. I remember the video I, I like, I put over it like nothing to see here. <laughs> but now I think we're heading in the way of the cave. Oh gosh, I hear things. Oh, here it is, the new cave. Oh man, so I don't know what's gonna be in here. I don't know if it's gonna be even like 
like a new thing oh gosh i hear things i hear things uh maybe we just go in says is this the cursed cave they keep talking about um all right well we just got skulls oh that was what the pile of fruit was oh okay well it looks like we have just books back here so we have a picture here it says miss mum and evil over what i assume would be dad and it's like a I guess they're in the style of llamas. It says, surprise! Today is Llama's birthday. His mum and dad made a delicious fruit cake. Oh my, mum, dad, what a nice surprise, Llama exclaimed. I didn't know you both could bake. That's, um, eerily creepy. Because, I mean, if you know you, you know about all of the characters, fruit equals people in this game, so... <laughs> That's really weird. I don't know. Oh, so this one says, Llama is an herbivore, which means he only eats fruits. Meat of any kind makes him go, yuck. If Llama wants to have a hearty meal, he needs to find fruits, not some dead duck. So it says, only fruit, only fruit, only fruit, only fruit. Jeez. Uh, it's very interesting, all these drawings as well, because like, I wonder if this this guy who went insane who thinks he's lamu you know drew all these pictures as well drew only fruit on them went insane lives in a cave now it's a very creepy story i don't i mean for a horror game too it's like this is like the worst character we've ever seen oh what is this a children's book the llama is hungry and it has like the eyes crossed out jeez all right well are you guys ready to read a story here okay so the llama is hungry a short story by kulu and i think that's the developer of the game it says the llama is hungry but lamu is crossing it out okay this book belongs to larry is that larry oh but it says pointing to the kid and he looks sad Jeez, okay, so you can see the backstory here. It says monster is the dad. So, the, uh, okay, here's the story. The dad is a monster. The mom maybe is cool, but both of them are gone now. And he is sad, and that is Lamu. So whatever happened, maybe this monster of a dad did something to the mom. I don't know. Jeez, there is some deep story here. All right, so let's begin. It is a new day today. Everybody's waking up. Llama sees the sunshine and wakes up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine for this young animal to wake up well rested at the break of dawn. For some reason, there's like this text looks a little weird. I was like, do you... Do, is there like a secret to be found here? I don't think so. I think I'm just going crazy. So right here, this llama has a birthday hat on. I'm guessing that's whoever this Larry. Well, let's call him Larry, you know, Larry, Lamu, you know, the same person. I'm guessing it was his birthday that day he got this book. Okay, so rumble, rumble. Llama's stomach growls. Looks like Llama's hungry for some fresh food. Oh dear me, that's the sign to go, Llama said. Time for some breakfast. I sure hope it's good. So I don't know what this is, but it looks like food on a stick or like marshmallows, or maybe it's like some sort of meat. I don't know, but there, there's something like breaking. It looks like there's like a sound effect here. It's like, he's like breaks or maybe that's him like jumping out of bed. I don't know. Okay. Well, this next picture looks a little creepy, even for a children's book. And it looks like there's pieces ripped out. Okay. So it says rip, rip right here. So I'm guessing two tombstones. Is that mom and dad? Jeez. It's, he drew a little picture over everything uh, for, like, I guess the llama leaving. It says, Miss Home. Llama leaves his home, and it's circled. Oh, okay. So it says, Llama leaves home whistle, uh, whistling as he walks, thinking of adventure of, of the adventure to find his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, 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 tweet. He whistles. Oh, <laughs> gleefully. Okay. Overwhelming euphoria is what he truly feels. Don't know what the next page is, but it's like cut out. Okay, so I just turned it over and he goes, Burr. oh my, how rude of me, Llama says. What a delicious fruit, truly tasty. Llama pats himself, satisfied with his feast. Now he has to head home. Best not to be lazy. Gosh, whoever originally drew this llama in this like universe, you know, it's like they made the llama look just like, like they're feasting on the fruits. I mean, have you ever ate fruit so fast and heavily that you got fruit on your face? Like have you ever eaten an apple and went <laughs> until the apple was on your face? Jeez, all right, well man, maybe this llama eats differently. I don't know. It says they are fruits, they are fruits, they are fruits. 
They are fruits. They are fruits. Oh gosh. Okay, it says no more home. Okay, well, uh, I'm guessing that relates to this. So let's read this first. So it says llamas walk llamas walks back home belly very full he reaches his home just when the moon rose he entered the door with a smile on his face but what he saw next make him struck a pose so it says no more home oh gosh what is this so it's um the mom and dad but it looks like they have like a weapon like a gun and they're like shoot trying to shoot him it says run away what what is going on and then then there's like a news thing dr bronze exposed as a fraud with this groundbreaking discovery it was envisioned that cures to uncurable diseases could be produced the discovery sounded too good to be true which in this case unfortunately something upon further evaluation dr bronze something findings and studies were further something evaluated by other scientists I, it just keeps getting cut off so it's them to return with the same the findings were falsified oh so i'm guessing whatever he was trying to cure couldn't be cured maybe it was like the insanity that lamu or the original larry the guy had maybe he had some sort of like uh what is it something wrong and he could only see himself as a llama or something well this part i can actually read it says dr Ep eric bronze well no i almost said epic dr epic bronze <laughs> dr eric bronze well known for his studies on interspecies genetics fusion has recently been exposed for fraud as his most recent studies and findings were proven to be falsified he was trying to like mix humans with animals Jeez. On the 15th of April, Dr. Bronze revealed his findings of human-animal genetic fusion, allowing scientists to retrieve specific DNA from animals and placing it into the human body, allowing humans to have the traits as if they were animals or something like that. Okay, whoa. This story, I mean, is incredibly just like vi vivid, I guess. It's just full because I remember when we were first playing this it was kind of just like this really tiny indie game and now it feels like there's a lot of this creepy eerie backstory I mean it almost gives me kind of like the vibes of like when Five Nights at Freddy's first started it was just like hey there's animatronics you know and then it was like look at this whole story now oh gosh this is all your fault I did not want any more what what does that mean does that mean that this scientist or something like that actually fused uh the dna with larry and then he be became this monster and then his parents started like hating him and he was like why you know and then the dad was like get out of here i don't want you and they were like go go on and they were like holding a gun and he had to run away or something like that no more home oh man so it says after a long day and a fun time llama head to bed he tucked himself into his warm blanket he thought to himself what a fun day reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet the end but then in big words it says still hungry um okay oh, oh gosh oh gosh i did not expect that i did not expect that jeez oh man i was like oh let's explore the game a little more oh my gosh did that get you <laughs> did that get you guys oh my gosh um yeah that really threw me for a loop okay let's read this Oh, so this is a long time ago. October 23rd, 1977. So, this is murder at Bronze Residence. At around 2100 hours, loud noises were heard within the Bronze Residences. Uh, concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services to inspect the concerning incident. What authorities found in the lovely home was absolutely horrifying. The Bronze family was well established when they're within their friendly neighborhood and well-liked by their neighbors and having the occasional get-togethers, Eric Bronze, uh, which is the dad, Tina Bronze, uh, which is the mom, and 50, wait, wait, and blank, Larry Bronze, uh, were a happy family of three. Besides Eric, Dr. Eric Bronze, wait, this was the bro the bro the doctor! The doctor was the dad? Besides Eric Bronze's exposure of fraudulent scientific findings six months ago, the family lived with no grudges against any other people and minded their own business. It has come to a shock that on Saturday night, Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze were found brutally murdered in front of their homes with, I'm guessing, Larry's missing from the crime scene. Jeez, apparently they were just gruesomely 
like torn apart and then like i'm guessing larry got away so they say like a search party was uh conducted by the authorities to look for the young larry dead or alive it is still unknown who or what if could have committed such a horrendous act although we were all afraid and strongly advised to follow the authorities orders oh man so this larry guy which is lamu was also experimented on by his dad Jeez. And yeah, it says if you find any information. I feel like the news. Yeah, the news is always so dark. Psh, who needs the news? Oh, but man, that's the uh, final ending of the game. So you get to learn pretty much everything. And now if you go back in, it's kind of weird because then now you could see this is his whole cave that he's been kind of just sitting in. But do you guys like agree? Do you guys agree? It's kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, when it, it initially started, it was just this very small game where you point and click, you avoid the animatronics. You, you gotta get some kind of story like, oh, these animatronics came to life. But then you get like, oh, what are the animatronics bit off the head of a child and it became, uh, what is it? The I think that was like the bite of 87 or something like that. And there's all this deep story. That's kind of what this game is turning into. This dark, creepy game. Well, uh, let me lighten the mood here. Watch this. <laughs> He's dancing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> now imagine there's an alternate ending where you could just kind of like wander off and go actually onto the road. It says, don't stray too far from home. Lamu get lost. Yeah, let's make Lamu get lost. Come on, let's go. Oh no. We'll get into the car. We'll just, uh, we'll leave. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. That is, I think that's the entire new update. But I mean, did you guys like find it i mean it's so creepy and so weird but it's such an interesting kind of like horror game it's so innocent on the surface but creepy under it, it kind of reminds me of baldi's basics almost like a man to the adventure in the sense that there's this like false front of like nothing to see here and then it becomes creepy so yeah i mean i'm sure there's gonna be more updates and i wonder what they'll even add to the game because how do you how do you update this even further you know like, what would be next? But yeah, hopefully you had some fun today. That's all I want to do every single day. I just want to make you smile. And let's have some fun together. You know, if you're ever feeling bad, you look up Dak Blake. We can play some games together and it can cheer you up once more. And on a lighter note, check out the other videos. They aren't as, I guess, dark as this one. I feel like this one, you don't really get the happy ending. It's just kind of, it's, it's a very unusual game in that sense, too. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.